Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. B channel. This is another video where I'm going to talk about my Chromebook. I have a Chromebook Acer i11 um, with Google Play Store or Android app support enabled. And if you watch my previous videos about this, I think it's the most recent one or one before that about this Chromebook, I was showing you that uh, Google sent a new Chrome OS update that allows me to my phone just detected uh, OK Google Word. <laughs> and again, anyway, uh, so Google done a Chrome OS um, update sent to my Chromebook. And it allows me to use Linux apps. Just a quick one if I go to the settings. And on the top left, if I click on a hamburger menu, I have an option that says Linux Beta. And right now it's been enabled. If I click on here, you see it's right now tells me remove Linux apps from Chromebook. Before that was saying enable it. So that's enabled, so I have Linux app support. And if I go to my app draw, let's call this way, and there is a folder right now with the Linux apps. Um, in a previous video, I showed you how uh, GNU or GIMP uh, video um, photo editing software can be installed and used. In this video, what I will try to do, I'll try to install the visual um, what's this called? Visual Studio Code and um, Linux version of Visual Studio Code. Studio Code. So if you go to uh, let's say Google and just search for Visual Studio Code, one of the first links should take you to this page. So you see, this is the first one of the first links. I click on there, it takes me to a home page, and code uh, code editing is that's what I can install. And it gives me option for Debian or RPM. Uh, oops, sorry, I just hit my mic. Um, so I'm going to use Debian because it's, Debian is basically a Linux distro ba based uh, on the, my Chromebook. So I just need to download this. Obviously, I already downloaded it, so it's inside my Linux folder. The file size is about 48, maybe 49 megabytes. So it, that took me uh, about 15 to 20 seconds to download. So that's all I need to do is just select once and enter. And now the pop-up message says Linux application will be available in your terminal after it's been installed. So we just click install, click OK. And on the bottom, which you cannot see because it's my camera is hiding, but there you go. It says here, installation in progress. So right now I need to just wait and, and uh, be patient while this is installing. So let's give a second or so for this one to finish and we're going to try to run it. While it's installing, just uh, just to let you know, just let's say for your information, this is a Chromebook Acer i11 with 2 gigabytes of RAM and I believe 16 gigabytes of onboard storage plus 120 gigabytes of SD card being inserted in the side. So total I have about 130 gigabytes uh, to use. Sadly, still there is no um, support for this SD card to be included as an internal storage on a Chromebook. So when you're using Android apps, Android apps sees and can use only what's remaining of my internal 16 gigabytes of storage. So it's just uh, finished uh, installing, installation completed, and this is uh, another notification where I downloaded this amd64.debian um, installation file. So if I go to my start menu, go to Linux apps, and now I have an option for Visual Studio Code. So just click once and see what's going to happen. Because my Chromebook is not the powerful, I mean, it's, it's, it's 2 gigabytes of RAM and it's not doing that great. Sometimes some of the apps, especially Linux apps, going to take a while to load. So be patient. But when it's running, it's running, um, let's say, in a usable state. I wish it'd be faster, but again, I'm not complaining because it's only 2 gigabytes of RAM. And basically, I need to use what I've been given. So as you see, mouse a bit stutters when I move around. So let's close that. And obviously, because 2 gigabytes of RAM, I tend to close pretty much everything when I'm using something that I, I it uses a lot of uh, memory. So let's go full screen. I just clicked on the full screen icon. Let's see how long it's going to take for this app to go full screen. See, it took about five to six seconds. 
So let's close the release node and let's close the welcome. So now I click on the files, I click open folder and it's going to give me an option to select the folder. Now it opens the Linux side of file browser. So under Pascalio, I can go inside there and this is my file. I'm just going to quickly create a folder and let's call the folder Python. Click create and inside Python, I click OK. So now I should be able, uh, my folder should be selected as a project folder. The app refreshes. Obviously, the, the dear viewers, which ones you, uh, which one of you is using this? You know exactly what I'm trying to do, and I'm just, I'm just quickly showing you what this, uh, just with the Python, uh, how you can basic code Python using this if your Chromebook has a Linux support. So now. Uh, as you see, it's empty. I click new file and do main.py. And here we go. I had this one. So let's see um, what I need to do. Let's do a quick, uh, my, my usual one, uh, math. So this is one number. This is second number. And total will be A times B plus A times B times A. Oops. Uh, times B times A and auto completion just went nuts and just created something that I don't really need okay print as you see I'm, I'm typing print and the actual syntax appearing quite it takes some time to actually show up so that's been done uh, there is an option under debug should give me a terminal below i can remember if that's what i need to do because i used this app quite a well this software quite a while ago so um did it, did it, did it. yeah i think that's the one here we are terminal appeared finally obviously this happens very quick on my on my work uh computer in my office it, it happens very very quick but here it's it takes a while to uh to do to do this thing so I have a terminal so Python 3 main let's run I have an answer might I need to do something that actually I'll be able to see if it's actually working properly so let's do uh, 2 and 8 so that's all I'm gonna do is just add 2 plus 8 a plus B save it go back uh, at the bottom run this it's 10 obviously it's not super fast and this is just a very very i mean this is a very simple program i mean this is uh four lines not not even that two plus eight you go one line and it is working fine but I, I can see that this is gonna struggle if I'm gonna try to run something very heavy use on my, let's say, computing power. So if I, I have a program in Python, in other languages, in other languages, something that I wanna run and um, two gigabytes of RAM just won't cut it, just won't cut it. Um, the reserve options, I think, is under this button and it's basically the extensions. And there's a lot, a lot, and a lot of extensions uh, you can install. Let's say this one, Magic Python syntax highlights for cutting edge Python is right now installed. Okay, uh, you can search for something. Let's say let's search for NumPy. Let's see if a NumPy exists yet. No. Uh, do we have pip? Searching for pip packages. Bingo. Install and update pip packages and it's 18,000 people already downloaded this and it's a lot of extensions you can install for not only Python but for for your other programming languages C, C++, PHP and etc 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 and you can get this soon running so let's say do I have Google Google search okay turns Google complete Google fonts okay um, Google Drive let's say if I search for Drive you go settings sync settings and extensions to your google drive just as a backup back to a code it, brilliant brilliant app to use and if you're planning to uh just just see what if if the programming is 
programming in any languages for you. If you only have a Chromebook um, and by sheer luck, Google sent you um, the Linux update, you have this. Obviously, there is still a lot of Android support, Android apps that can do similar things. And you can obviously go and do do all this even in a browser on a Chromebook. Let's say, like I mentioned before, there's a website called REPL.IT and you can go on there and you can code Python and pretty much uh, any language. If I go here, as you see, it's all these languages can be coded within the browser. But if you are one of these programmers that like to have something physical on your machine, what's what I mean physical, something local on your machine and this don't require internet connection when you're coding. Some of the connections, say if you're using APIs and etc., and connecting to, I don't know, somewhere offsite database or linking to Google APIs, etc., internet will be required. But something that you're coding on the local machine without internet and you just want to have something like on your machine, this is uh, one of the best ways, see, one of the good ways that you can use this. And obviously, that's all you basically, like I said, if Google um, gave you opportunity to use Linux and they sent you this update and your Chromebook supports that, brilliant. Just go download, it's free to use uh, and a bit slowish on my device, but I'm not complaining. It gets the job done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or requests, or your feedback, leave them all in a comment section below. I'll read every single comment. And if you think that what I showed you is okay, um, it's not a bullshit, just click the like button, button. Click the like button, can't even speak. And consider subscribing. Every little helps. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.